Hello, I'm Janice Troutman, the director of Meyer School of Art. Welcome to our annual Spring Awards celebration that highlights our students' accomplishments over the past year. When a group of creative problem solvers come together, remarkable things can happen. Of course, I am referring to our amazing faculty, staff, and students. Thinking back on this unprecedented year, two words continue to surface, resourceful and resilient. It came as no surprise to me that the individuals that make up our school possess these distinct qualities. We responded to the challenges that began last March and resolved to reopen in fall 2020 with 65% of our courses face-to-face. -face. Faculty reviewed and revised course content, teaching methods, classroom practices, and means of student participation and inclusiveness. Students needed to reconnect with their faculty and the UA community. Health and safety were a priority. We strengthened existing skills and learned new approaches. Together, we became exceptionally good at functioning in our new normal. Today, we highlight a few of our collective accomplishments despite these challenges. I will begin by introducing Arnie Tungstall, the director of our Emily Davis Gallery. Thank you, Janice, uh, and thank you for all your support of the gallery. And uh, today I'd like to honor several people and uh, do a little look back on the year uh, that was very strange and very awesome at the same time. Uh, this year we showcased uh, the work of 110 artists um, and 261 works of art uh, from around the world, the region, and of course our own faculty and students. Um, most of our exhibitions were focused on regional artists this year, uh, including 15 Meyer School of Art alumni and some faculty. Uh, the gallery team has put in over 300 hours of volunteer work in the gallery this year, uh, in addition to many hours of uh, work study, internships, and graduate assistantships. I'd like to especially honor our gallery team who are with us uh, throughout this year. Killian Reed, Samantha Emery, Sydney Barnett, Kayla Weinman, Michael Corpus, Diana Rice, Abby Seibar, Isabella Troutman, and Elise Helms. And we'd like to make a special thank you to our graphic design intern over the last couple of years, Nico Alanchevsky, who's been really instrumental in making our exhibitions look so great. Uh, I would also like to give a special shout out to uh, two students who graduated last December and we didn't get a chance to thank them last year, Alex Couch and Jared Faust. They helped us in the gallery for the last four years of their work here at Myers, and we're especially thankful to all their work here. Um, I couldn't uh, thank anybody without mentioning our graduate assistants who helped this year from our Arts Administration program, and that is John Aylward and Rachel Reynolds. And I'd also like to uh, mention our major exhibitions this year, which have been um, really em emblematic of what has happened throughout the year. We really responded to uh, the, both the political and social reckoning of 2020 as interpreted by artists from our region. Um, and we had several events online. Those exhibitions were Bearing Witness, a response to current events by regional photographers, and that was followed by Suffrage, Inequality, Persistence, and Justice. And of course this spring, we ended our traditional year with the 85th annual Juried Student Exhibition. Currently, you have one more week to see the exhibition called Unmuted, which is the work of 31 graphic design seniors. And starting tomorrow on April 10th at Summit Art Space, Everything But the Kitchen Sink, which is coordinated by our Akron Drawing and Painting League and especially senior Abby Saibar. If you can make it to Summit Art Space and see our student work, please do. Upcoming for this year, we have an exhibition beginning on May 3rd and it'll be running through this summer uh, called Rubber City to Rust Belt, The End of Akron's Rubber Industry, 1967 to 1987. And this features the photographs of Daniel Mainzer. And for the second part of the exhibition, we're gonna be featuring selections from the Meyer School of Art collection. And some of you may not know that we even have a School of Art collection, and we do. And we've been actively acquiring new works for it. Um, in 2019 and 2020, we received some major gifts from a group of photograph donors, um, several donors from around the country. Uh, and these gifts include the works by Dimitri Baltermans, 
Ilsa Bean, Michael Disfarmer, Leonard Freed, Erica Stone, Arthur Rothstein, Henri Cartier-Bresson, Danny Lyon, and Bill Owens. We also received a piece by Meyer School of Art Emeritus faculty, Mark Sopland, donated to us by Patty Graves. We received uh, gifts of their own work by artists Mike, uh, Mark Giangospero and Omi Tabakali. We acquired pieces by Meyer School of Art alumni, Alexandria Couch, Ryan Craycraft, Sarah Ellis, and visiting artist, Tom Huck. I look forward to seeing you all in the gallery over the summer and hopefully when school starts in the fall. And now we'd like to present Area Awards. Hi, I'm Bob Kellerman, co-coordinator of graphic design. I'm pleased to award the top junior portfolios in graphic design from this year's junior review. Each year, our students entering their junior year complete a portfolio review in which they present all of their work to be reviewed by the full-time design faculty. These portfolios are evaluated on many criteria, including composition, typography, and design sensibility. The portfolios demonstrate all of the skills and talent the students have acquired in their first three years at the Myers School of Art. This year's top junior portfolios are Natalie Metzger, Jacob Scott, Cole Speaker. Congratulations all. This year's winners will receive an external hard drive guaranteed to a three meter drop. It's also waterproof and supposedly you can run it over with a three ton car, so no excuses. Next, I'm pleased to announce this year's recipient of the Kristen Wims Memorial Scholarship. Kristen graduated with a BFA in graphic design and a minor in illustration in 1992. Her life was cut tragically short in an automobile accident. I met with Kristen's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jerry Wims, during the 2019 award ceremony, and I was very moved by their commitment to keep their daughter's memory alive in the halls of Myers through this generous scholarship. Candidates are initially identified by design faculty, but Mr. and Mrs. Wims read all the applications and make the final selection. The scholarship is renewable for a second year if the recipient is a rising junior. I'm very excited to announce this year's deserving recipient, Alicia Fornaro. Congratulations, Alicia. Hello, I'm Melissa Stallard, Associate Professor and Coordinator of Photography at the Myers School of Art. I'm pleased to be presenting the 2021 Photography Area Scholarships. First, I will be presenting the Danison Award. Established in 2016 in honor of Mervyn F. Danison and his long and storied career as a new bureau photographer for the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company, this scholarship supports outstanding junior or senior photography or photojournalism majors. When making the award, the applicant's GPA, quality of their photographic work, and their need for financial assistance are all considered. This year's winner of the $2,000 Danson Award is Amber Bistor. Next, I'll be presenting the Olson Awards for Photography. In January of 2014, Dr. Irving J. and Ruth B. Olson generously endowed a scholarship for photography majors. Consideration for this award is given to sophomore, junior, and senior applicants who are actively involved in the life of the University of Akron, Myers School of Art, and the community. Through this scholarship, Dr. Olson continues to challenge students not only to follow their dreams, but through their art and service to the community to make a greater impact. This year's winners of the Olson Photography Scholarship are $500 to Helena Novak and $1,500 to Gabrielle Zink. Congratulations to all of this year's winners. Hello, my name is Matthew Kolajay. I'm a professor of art at the Mary Sheila Myers School of Art, where I teach painting and drawing. It is my great pleasure to announce the Senior Painting Award. This award is given out to a deserving senior or seniors who are developing their portfolio in preparation for either graduate school or continued employment. This award is traditionally given out to a senior student who has demonstrated perseverance and hard work in their academic career. In these unprecedented times, I'm very pleased to announce that the donor has agreed to offer each of the graduating seniors an award of $300. Those students are Sam Bittaker, 
Abby Sipar, Kwame Gomez, Alex Couch, and Madeline Jack. On behalf of Laura Vintage and I, I would like to extend our heartfelt wishes for your future. It is students like you that inspire all of us. Thank you. The Art Studio Scholarships provide students with support for tuition. These awards are available because endowed funds created by multiple donors throughout the history of the Meyer School of Art. Award amounts range from $500 to $4,000 with an additional $5,000 Gillette Academic Scholarship awarded to a sophomore, a junior, and a senior. This competition occurs annually in the spring and the total amount available to distribute varies each year. Beginning with the freshmen, Total Studio Scholarship Awards for freshmen this year amount to $6,500. These awards go to Laura Gorman, $400 from the Griffin and $1,600 from Folk. Abby Miller, $3,500 from Dimitros. Mark Smith, $1,000 drum. And the sophomores, the total Studio Scholarship Awards for sophomores this year amount to $12,500. These awards go to Alexia Abdellis, $1,500 Folk. Sydney Barnett, $1,000 Harris. Trent Boatner, $3,000 Dimitros. Eden Bradford, $500 Dimitros. Sammy Butler, $1,000 Dimitros. Joshua Weisgarber, $500 Diebler. And the outstanding sophomore Gillette Academic Scholarship for $5,000 goes to Elise Helms. And the juniors. The total studio scholarship awards for juniors this year amounts to $15,500. These awards go to Amber Bister, $500 Dimitros. Mariah Clay, $100 Emily Davis, and $400 Dimitros. Sharla Cook, $1,500 Dimitros. Kalia Horner, $150 Folk and $350 Raleigh. Delaney Householder, $1,000 Myers. Jessica Palmer, $1,000 Myers. Diana Rice, $250 Folk and $2,750 Dimitros. Nina Schultz, $1,000 American Greetings. Emily Zepp, $1,000 Dimitros. Katarina Zuder, $500 Folk. And the outstanding junior Gillette Academic Scholarship for $5,000 goes to Katherine Strobel. And the seniors. The total studio scholarship awards for seniors this year amounts to $13,000. These awards go to Kara Duvall, $1,000 Dimitros. Monica Doyle, $1,000 Waldman. Janae Droder, $500 Folk. Hallie McHenry, $100 Surrey and $400 Rally. Natalie Metzger, $500 Folk. Hallie Newman, $500 Folk. Lakeisha Parkman, $500 American Greetings. Ellie Payne, $1,500 Dimitros. Cole Speaker, $1,000 Dimitros. Jacob Vickers, $1,000 American Greetings. And the outstanding senior Gillette Academic Scholarship for $5,000 goes to James Edwards. Next, we'll hear from our Manager of Student Affairs, Melissa Olson, who will present the Studio Merit Awards. Hi, I'm Melissa Olson, Manager of Student Affairs at the Meyer School of Art. Today, I'll be presenting the Studio Merit Scholarships for 2020 and 2021. 
These scholarships are awarded based on nominations provided by faculty. These students have been working hard in their studio practice over the course of the 2020-2021 academic year and are producing outstanding work. The students receiving $500 each this year are Steven Sistone, Rachel Fox, Kelly Island, Brianna Keene, and Brianna Nicholas. Congratulations! In addition to scholarships, 12 graphic design students attended the National AIGA Virtual Conference and five ceramic students attended the NSECA virtual conference. Five students were awarded grants for tools and materials through our DeShiel Awards. We also offered $17,000 in scholarship to incoming freshmen. That brings our total amount in scholarships and travel we announced today to over $80,000. I would like to extend a heartfelt thank you to our many donors who value our support and mission. Meyer School of Art is resilient, resourceful, and remarkable. I am honored to be the director. Looking forward to fall 2021, we will again be regrouping. Even more classes and events will be in person, and I'm excited to announce that our Meyers Visiting Artists and Designers Residency Program will be returning, allowing students once again to participate in the out-of-the-classroom experiences that we are so well known for. Colette Fu will kick off our Myers residency in September. Please continue checking our website for announcements and upcoming events. Congratulations to students on all your accomplishments this past year. Continue to be well.